Well, thank you so much. Beautiful song. Guy Mendelo Band on our stage. Tomoko Omura playing the violin. Simon Chrisman playing the upright bass, bowing the upright bass. We've got Tammy Sheffer playing or performing on vocals there. And I've got to say uh, Keita Ogawa, I hope I pronounced that right, one of the best percussion players we've ever had on this stage. One of the best. So, Guy, we're, we're getting into uh, uh, two unique things here. One is called overtone singing. Right. So ex let's explain to the audience what overtone singing is first. Sure, sure. So um, in a nutshell, overtone singing is a technique that allows one person to sing with two or, or more voices at the same time. So you can give yourself a bass line and you can sing a melody up top. And um, Let, let's, let's, let's pause for a moment. Right. Okay. One voice. Yes. One vocal cord. Two parts. Well, a bunch of vocal cords. But yes. Well, <laughs> one throat. One throat. One throat. Okay. Right. <laughs> Don't make it harder for me. Than I'm just words. playing with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is, where does this come from? Well, uh, overtone singing is a, it's actually a family of techniques. And there are, the best known overtone singers in the world are probably the Tuvans. Uh, from the Republic of Tuvo, smack in the center of Asia. But overtone singing is also found in different forms in, uh, in Tibet, Mongolia, uh, Siberia, even the Inuit in Alaska. And you've won awards uh, for this, so you're like good at it. Well, look, compared to the Tuvans, I mean, they're like in grad school and mm -hmm. I'm in kindergarten. Okay. But All right, let me ask you this. Can you, <laughs> give, me, can you give me a regular voice and then an sure. overtone voice? Can you do that? Sounds uh, sounds uh, uh, troubled. <laughs> How does one sit around and practice that? I mean, I mean, uh, Tammy. First time you ever heard that. What did you think? Hmm. <laughs> what? That's a that's a very in depth comment, <laughs> and we're very grateful for it. So now you're you're guy. You, you're doing this overtone singing, which in itself is unique. It's a unique sound. It has a, almost an Australian didgeridoo type sound to your throat. Uh, but you're playing. You've got in your hand this 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 uh, birum bow. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. Beer, I don't really. Yeah, no, 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 really. So complimentary when you told me. That. <laughs> <laughs> been you were really all surprised, right? Yes, I was. No, you got it. You nailed <laughs> so it. So you've got this thing. It, it's a. It looks like a, a big bow. Well, yes, that's exactly like what a it bow is. and arrow. That's exactly what it is. Oh, oh. Okay. You're doing. You're doing great. Doing so, doing so right. Carry and, then, on. and you're playing. You've got this thing on your chest. It looks like a gourd. Right. Really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you got this gourd against your chest, and it makes this this percussive sound. That's right. I might as well just stop where I am. No, no, so. no, 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 no. You're doing great. Why so stop? let's give me give me the, give me a demonstration of sure. just the birimba. Okay, sure. Just so, the birimba. Um, you have several main sounds. You got your high string. You got your low string. If you add the stone, it sounds like this. There's heavy metal bands all over the world going, I gotta get me one. Oh, you build one? Sure, sure, sure. So heavy this, metals, heavy this metal is, bands around the world. This can is build a, this one. is a big, it's, it's like about four and a half feet long. Yeah, about, yeah. About that, and yeah. it's got one string. One string. And you're banging on it with a with it looks like a conductor's. It's a stick. A, a stick. <laughs> Technical term. 